A California federal court issued a temporary restraining order blocking Microsoft from closing the largest deal in gaming history. I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Paul Tassi, a senior video game contributor here at Forbes. Thank you so much for joining me today, Paul. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Microsoft was going to purchase the video game publisher Activision Blizzard for nearly $70 billion before this temporary restraining order. Could you tell us why, why would a court even issue this? They are just trying to make sure that they kind of uh, do their due diligence. The FTC has been talking about attempting to block this uh, as time goes on because they believe it is anti-competitive. But just because they have issued the temporary restraining order and injunction, that does not mean they will eventually win it. So we will we'll see what happens. But um, it is just a temporary measure here. I mean, I, I saw somewhere where uh, Sony, they kind of had some issues with this deal. Why is that the case? Sony believes that Microsoft is going to uh, potentially take away huge franchises like Call of Duty from them. Uh, Microsoft has promised over and over and over again that they will not do this. They have offered Sony pledges that they won't do this. And yet Sony is not really wanting to take them at their words. And they are kind of doing everything possible to block this deal because they think it will hurt their business. I mean, but like, why do they think that they're going to take their franchise like Call of Duty? It does not exactly make the most sense. Um, Call of Duty is such a big selling franchise that Microsoft kind of needs to keep selling it on PlayStation, which has tens and tens of millions of users. Sony's argument is that if Microsoft made Call of Duty exclusive to just Xbox or something like Xbox Game Pass, that uh, Sony could potentially be cut out of that market and it would want uh, it would make people want to buy more Xboxes. Xbox has said they're not going to do that and they really do want to sell Call of Duty on PlayStation, but Sony maintains that it's a risk that they don't really want to take. I mean, I'm not a gamer myself, but are gamers more, are they more kind of hooked on their station, their Xbox or their, or their PlayStation, or is it the game itself? It depends. A lot of games are, are third party. So Call of Duty has previously been like a third party game, which means it comes out for all consoles. It comes out for PlayStation, it comes out for Xbox. So it, it's kind of widely available. Um, but when you are a company and you buy a studio, if you buy Activision and you fully own it, you do have the potential to be like, okay, Call of Duty is now only coming out on Xbox, which Microsoft, again, it's, it's an option. Microsoft says they're not going to do it, but people are very much kind of in their camps for consoles. So we have like a PlayStation camp of fans, we have an Xbox camp of fans, and they're very, very tribal, very territorial. So any sort of uh, debate like this over what's going to be exclusive or what they might no longer have access to has sparked uh, a lot of heated debates. And that's kind of been um, one of the cruxes of this whole thing here. Mm -hmm. So when this restraining order is over, what happens next? Well, Microsoft seems to think this is a good thing because this will accelerate things kind of getting to court and then Microsoft will uh, argue their case. And it is possible that the FTC's injunction won't hold up. They, they tried to do this with Meta in some capacity before, and that got overturned. Um, the US is kind of one of the last major hurdles to getting this deal done. Almost every country has approved it so far, the exception being uh, the UK, where the regulatory bodies there did rule that at least some aspect of it was anti-competitive. So Microsoft is really hoping that the US doesn't make a declarative ruling about that. But if they did, that would be a really, really big problem for the deal. Why? Well, the U.S. is a major, major market. Um, when we're talking about the U.K., uh, if Microsoft, they, they've appealed the ruling, but if they can't get around it, they could do something crazy like, OK, well, Call of Duty is just not going to be sold in the U.K. anymore because they wouldn't allow us. The U.S. market is really, really big. It's where Xbox is based. Um, it seems unlikely they would be able to get around a very, very firm ruling uh, that this this uh, merger, this acquisition is not going to be allowed. I'm sure they would appeal that uh, to Kingdom Come and they have a lot riding on this deal. But if this did not go their way, that would be a, a pretty significant problem for them. 